and I'm back with my four-year-old's work boxes for this week, uh, for the next two weeks. And if you're interested in looking at them, then definitely stay tuned. <music> using this learning te um, teaching tree um, game about time and if you see my dollar recent Dollar Tree haul my educational Dollar Tree haul which I'll link in the description box below you can definitely check that out and see more in detail other games that we got from the teaching tree which is the Dollar Tree's educational line of um, activities and games for learning we're doing addition I really made this up <laughs> real quick it's this addition mat so add the rainbow coins so I have some flashcards some addition flashcards that I will pair with this as well as these little coins which are from the game sequence you probably recognize these if you have this game at home so pretty much what he will do he'll do addition he'll have the little um card on the side that has the addition fact and then he will add them using two different colors so say it's five plus four he would use green for five or red for four and put them all here in his pot and then add up how many he has so that's something very simple that you can do at home this is made out of cardstock glued on and i just simply drew on a rainbow i got this printable it's a free printable for kindergarten activities uh which are you know kindergarten activities so even though he knows how to count well past 100 right now what I've noticed with him and what you should take note when you're doing things with your kids is that when he comes to the teen numbers like 13 14 15 he kind of just speeds through them and jumbles them up until he gets to 20 and so now we're taking our time to slow down and to be able to order those properly instead of just you, you, just a jumbled mess when he's counting and pretty much just um, quantified those so here are shamrock frames and he'll color the appropriate number in and we'll take our time in going in sequential order and understanding them um, because he just goes berserk through the teens when he's counting I don't know what that's all about so <clears throat> so that's a little review for that and then missing shamrocks he'll just put the numbers in that are missing just a cute little thing to have pass the same math activity and then here are shamrocks bonds which are really cute um, number bonds up to 10 and so he has to find the missing number so for that I kind of think I included these little foam beans beads to me they look like lucky charms <laughs> so um, so it's kind of St. Patrick's Day ish I got these from the Dollar Tree a while back they're really lacing foam beads but I just like the rainbow concept and they look like little lucky charm so what he will do is he'll have 10 what he'll do is he'll put out 10 and then he'll take six out of them and then he'll see what's left and he'll put four here and then we'll know that six and four make ten so on and so forth and then as usual he has his my numbers one through 120 book that he does little activities um number dot to dot drawings and um writing his numbers in sequential order what comes after what comes before things like that so that's his math work box for language arts we are wrapping up on our cvc words flip book that we got from three dinosaurs.com we only have a couple more left we have ow and ox and i believe og and then we are done i think we've done all of the other ones before no i think we have not we have five more pages five more pages and we get back to add and we'll probably do them all over again it's just for us it's about him reading it understanding the the the, the um the the blends of the the letters and how they flow and how to read these words in their words family so we continue to do that he reads them off and he checks them off every day this goes with his handwriting without tears he's doing he's continuing on with this sliding words activity which we love I add different words every every time I update it Puh. Ah. Mm. and then he pulled it all out Pan. so that's for him to be able to sound out words learning how to be fluent and 
who is worth more to you than gold if you saw my previous video with my six no sorry seven he's seven now my seven year old learning activities he saw that he had the same activity we will color this and we will make our little pot of gold who is more more than gold to you and so what I'll have him do is he'll write a picture and what I like about this activity, it comes with two different levels. So either if you have a kid who doesn't yet write, he can just draw pictures of who is worth more than gold to him, or I'll actually have him tell me what he wants to write and I'll help him write it and tell him what letters to make the words. So he will draw a picture of who's worth more than gold and he'll put my friends, my mommy, my daddy, whoever. And then also some more St. Patrick's Day activities with leprechaun hats. These are the um, these are add and at words. So he will cut these out and sort them here. And here is a pot of gold activity. He will color and he will uh, cut these out and put them in order. I am a lucky leprechaun, and he'll write put the, paste them here, and then he will write I am a lucky leprechaun. And so that's pretty much it. Continuing with his handwriting without tears and writing words in this book. And that is it for his language art work box for this session. For science for him this week with classical conversations, um, we are learning about the three ocean zones. And I showed this activity in my seven year old's work boxes and um, the previous video. So if you want to get more in detail with that, definitely check that out. Pretty much we're learning about the photic babel and abyssal zone and he will draw a picture, write his name, glue these in order. Yellow goes on top, blue bottom, blue middle, black bottom, and we will find the animals that live in these particular ocean zones from this Feel and Discover Science bag which has all of these little animals and we will match them up that way. So here, same thing from last time in his elective, we have geography. We're doing the Northeast region of the United States. This principle I got from JDA's Teachers Pay Teachers website. This is just a portion of the printable. It has a lot of content and we are still focusing on the Northeast, just making sure that he understands that these are the names of these particular states and that they fit in these particular places. So I made a little puzzle out of them. So he's getting really good with that. He pretty much has it, um, but he kind of slips up here and there. So I'm going to continue on with these and probably switch them out next week to another region. And also we're doing um, fire safety, stop, drop and roll, things of that nature, what to do when a fireman comes to your house, how to remain safe if there's a fire in your home. Really awesome concepts that kids just need to know. So he's four and I thought, found that that to be really good for him to learn now. And then we have the same color by region activity or color by state activity here, which also comes with this teacher pay teacher activity from JDA. So he'll color, color Connecticut blue, New York orange, so on and so forth with his dry erase crayons. And then we go into more detail with each state by using this activity book for the United States. So that's what he has in here. And then some random sight word readers about food groups that sometimes we look at, sometimes we don't because we kind of moved on from that. But he likes them, so I keep them here. So that's what he has here in his elective drawer. So guys, that's it for my four-year-old's work boxes for this next two-week segment. Um, I hope you guys saw my previous video with my work box activities for my seven-year-old. I probably referred to my seven-year-old as a six-year-old in that video because he just turned seven a few days ago. So my mind is still trying to adjust. So I hope you guys enjoyed our videos. So if you have any questions, comments, definitely leave them in the comment section below. Have a great week. Bye-bye.